in this simple i hope and short i hope video i'm going to tell you the difference between molecules and compounds because a lot of people seem to be confused between those two all right so let us start with the definition of molecules okay so molecules are any entity that is made of more than one atoms okay that is the key here okay more than one atoms okay let me just yeah, yeah more than one atoms okay so what are some examples okay let us take a simple molecule okay hydrogen molecule okay h2 okay because this has two molecules sorry two atoms that is more than one atoms right this is a kind of molecule cool makes sense all right but what about a, a more complex you know complex you know thing you know let's say uh glucose okay c6 h12 o6 is this a molecule yes of course because it has more than one atoms makes sense you know 6 12 and 6 that is your um, 24 atoms right which is clearly more than one atom okay because and and because that you know it is a molecule right but what about compounds okay compounds are entities made of different kinds of atoms different kinds of atoms and this is the key here which makes you know like molecules different from compounds okay because molecules can be anything that is made of more than one atom but compounds must have different kinds of atoms so so if you take this hydrogen molecule right here this will not this will not be a compound okay because it has same same kinds of atoms okay hydrogen and hydrogen but if you take this glucose right here this will be a compound because it has different kinds of atoms okay carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay and that's that's why glucose can also be called a compound okay all right so what about some other examples of compounds our favorite water okay so yeah get, get some water okay drink some water now okay now this is our compound because this has different kinds of atoms cool but this is also molecules because it's, it, it has more than one atom, you know, three atoms, you know, two hydrogen and one oxygen. Hmm. Do we see a pattern here? Do we see a pattern here that all compounds are molecules, but not all molecules are compounds? Because we see both of these are molecules, right? Both of these are made of more than one atoms. But hydrogen right here, hydrogen molecule right here is not a compound because it doesn't have different kinds of atoms okay so if we had to represent the statement in a form of a set how would we do that if you don't know what sets are watch my video on that here here yes yes so let us take a set of molecules okay this is a pretty poorly drawn circle so don't mind that anyway this is imagine imagine this to be all of the molecules all of our glucose all of our you know h2s all of our nitrogens and all the stuff okay where would the you know compound where would the compounds lie no where will the compounds lie will it be outside the set will it be inside the set or will it be you know, i mean will it be a subset or will it be here or you no know, think about it all right i'm assuming that you you know thought about it anyway so the compounds will be a subset of molecules okay pretty interesting this this part has all our glucose all our water and all the complex molecules but this part okay this part outside has our hydrogen you know, h2 molecules our na n3 molecules our ozone molecules and so on which are made of same kinds of atoms okay now that we came to the thing you know came to the point of same kinds of atoms of molecules made of same kinds of atoms let us talk about some types okay okay some types of same same kinds of atoms same kinds of atoms you know molecules with same kinds of atoms okay let's say you have a molecule with two atom okay again let's say our hydrogen okay two atom okay two atom uh, there's a molecule okay 
we'll call that a diatomic molecule okay a diatomic molecule okay cool pretty nice what about uh you know molecule with three atoms okay let's say ozone okay ozone or three we'll call that a triatomic molecule okay i see a pattern right here nibir all right pretty cool this is really similar to you know like terms of the you know polynomials you know if you have only two terms you call that a binomial if you have three terms you call that a trinomial and if you have more than you know really really big uh, a lot of terms you call that a polynomial and similarly if you have a lot of a lot of atoms let's say sulfur right here it has eight atoms you call that a polyatomic molecule polyatomic molecule cool now just to just to do a bit of recall what about helium right here helium will this be a molecule well of course not because you need more than one atom for something to be qualified as a molecule right so this is not a molecule okay not a molecule not a molecule okay this is an atom simply an atom okay but you know in some textbooks some sometimes it is uh, you know things like atoms are also called mono monoatomic okay let me write that with a different color okay uh, let's take this gray right here okay monoatomic monoatomic which is not true okay you cannot have a monoatomic molecule yeah so you know like just to keep things in check you know so that you're not you know really confused this is also called a monoatomic stuff okay this is not the molecule okay not a molecule but somewhere you will see that it is referred to as a monoatomic molecule okay but it is not a molecule okay clear okay cool now just to summarize this video we learned about molecules versus compounds molecules are entities made of more than one atom okay anything more than one atom molecule but compounds must have different kinds of atoms different kinds of atoms okay and we saw that all compounds all compounds right here are molecules but not all molecules are compounds uh, 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 uh. we also talked about molecules with the same kinds of atoms and how you name them with you know respect to their you know number of atoms in them so yeah that's it i hope the confusion will was cleared and let me know if you have some questions okay and stay frosty all right